be careful. Be careful out here. No means no. Be careful who you put your thing in, but also remember, no means no, bro. Because if she say no, and she kept on saying no, and she kept on saying no, and you started pushing her, and then she decided to say yes, well, guess what, brother? I seen um, that David Dobrik is pretty much canceled. Now, some of y'all may not know who David Dobrik is. Quick backstory: David Dobrik is like one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform. Like he does like four-minute vlogs, and you know his vlogs be pretty entertaining for four minutes. Like he he figure out a way to pack a lot in a little bit of time. So basically. What I seen was he got canceled by like nine companies that was endorsing him. That's a lot of money. Like he lost millions of dollars, right? But guess what? The reason he got canceled, let me tell you why he got canceled. So it's another guy that was part of his um his little like vlogging team or whatever. And pretty much these two girls or this chick went on TikTok and said that when she was a part of one of his vlogs, the dude, he pretty much, he raped her. You feel me? She had the whole backstory. She pretty much said that <clears throat> there was uh, she was underage. It was her and another girl, her friend or whatever. They was underage. And uh, David and the other dude gave him liquor to drink. They got drunk. Um, and... They were very, very drunk when her, her friend, and the guy had a threesome. David ain't really do nothing but pretty much antagonize the situation. That's that's what she said, right? And, you know, it's sad, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, first off, I'm, I'm not going to victim shame. I don't want y'all to think I'm about to victim shame. Because I feel as though any man... Who have to get a female like intoxicated, like with with a whole bunch of liquor, or you know dudes that be slipping like um, slipping pills and and women drinks, and just stuff like that, bro. You you a scumbag. You a scumbag, bro. I, I don't I don't condone that. You feel me? Cause I got I got little cousins. I don't have a sister, but I got beautiful cousins. And if I was to find out that a dude was to was to do that to one of my cousins, I'd, I'd do that to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no questions asked, bro. Because that, that's not cool, man. That is not cool. But if you seen, like, my other video that I had when I was in college, you understand that I have, like, a bad experience with people, with women, saying things that weren't true you know what i'm saying so the video i had up was this chick came to my room she was drunk she threw herself at me i wasn't with it she took she took her clothes off and she basically took her clothes off like yo bro you serious you you denying this in the midst of her taking her clothes off she was so drunk that she threw up then she passed out you feel me Bro, if her friend wasn't there and if I didn't record like the whole situation when she was just she was grabbing her cheeks and she was like, Boy, you want you denying this fat ass? Like you see this fat ass? And she started grabbing her titties. She's like, Do you see these big ass titties? You 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 serious right now? You denying this? And then she threw up, bro. She threw up all over herself. And with her threw up, bro. With her throw up. Vomit all over her skin. On her bra, she went and laid in my bed, son, and passed out in my bed. Her friend, 
Her friend was like, well, I'm going to leave her here. I'm like, no, 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 no. You, you going to sleep here too? You're not going to leave her down here with me. You feel me? She, she was going to be a bad friend. But anyway, her friend slept on the, um, on the living room, in the living room couch. I went to my man's room and I left the girl in my bed. You feel me? And when she woke up, she got a, oh, yo, why I don't have no clothes on? What y'all did to me? Yo, nobody did nothing to you, son. You did that to yourself. No! Bro, if I didn't pull that video out, son, and then her friend was was there to vouch, bro, that could have changed my life. Then, like, a couple years later, I had another situation where, like, this chick, I had met this chick at my job, and you feel me? We was texting and stuff like that. Then she, she ended up coming to my crib. So, like, when I initially met her, bro, I was like, how old are you? She's like, oh, I'm 20. I'm like, all right. At the time, I was, like, 21 or whatever. I was like, all right. And she looked mad mature for her age, bro. You feel me? But when she, like, when she came to my crib, she started doing some some young shit. And I'm like, yo, bro, how old are you, bro? She's like, yo, I'm 20. I'm like, yo, let me see your license. I don't believe you. You feel me? She started getting mad defensive. Like, yo, why you want to see my license? Yo, you blowing minds. Like, why you want... You... Yo. You being mad corny. Like, trying to use that reverse psychology. I'm like, yo, bro, like... Let me just see your license. You cool. We kicking it. You know what I'm saying? But... Let me just see your license. Now I'm starting not to believe you... You how old you say you was. Yo. Long story short. I was with it. Kicked out my crib coming to find out I was hooping with somebody and he was like and the, the dude I was hooping with bro he was in high school bro he was like 16 or something like that she went to school with son you feel me like bro so I just had bad experiences uh, with, with, with situations like that so when when I hear stuff like that I don't never want to victim shame because it's some scumbags out here, but at the same time, bro, you got to take all these stories with a grain of salt. You know what I mean? Like, the one thing I don't be liking about this stuff is instead of going to, like, the authorities, the first thing these women seem to do, they, they'll go to, like, social media. The first thing they'll do, like, shorty went to TikTok or, like, with the T.I. situation, they went to Instagram. And, you know, like... I don't be liking that, bro. If you feel as though somebody did something foul to you, go to the authorities, man. Like when you when you go on social media with it, it seems like you your 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 motives are are different. Your motives are different, man. But I'm not victim shaming, bro. I'm not victim shaming. If <clears throat> based on based on what Shorty said. You know, she was like, um, they had a threesome and, and, you know, her friend was like, was out of there, like passed out drunk. That's all I really needed to hear, bro. Like when a woman is passed out drunk, you don't need to be touched on. Seriously, when a woman is drunk, you don't need to be touched on, bro. Like real talk. And with everything going on right now, like I don't... I'm kind of scared to do YouTube, bro, because I've i I've been with so many women in my lifetime, I don't know who could come out and say some, some nonsense about me. It won't be true. I know for sure it won't be true. I was thinking of making a list of, like, every chick I've ever been with and, like, trying my best to remember the situation and how it went about just so I could protect myself, bro, because you just you just never know, man. And, and with a lot of the stuff going on, it's it's just hard to, like, pinpoint whether the story be true or whether it be false. It's a lot of dudes. You got to understand, bro. It's a lot of dudes sitting in, in prison right now because a chick done lied on them. You feel what I'm saying? And, and like, from since, like, as as technology get better and DNA testing get better, it's a lot of dudes getting freed from prison because of DNA testing. 
Like, they reviewing people's cases. And it's just sad because the real victims, when when somebody re- has really been victimized or whatever, like, you just, it just look bad because you don't know whether to believe them or not. But at the same time, it don't matter if you believe him or not. Once once a woman say, yo, he did it to me. Yo, he touched me the wrong way. Your career over with. Like, she don't even... She don't even have to prove that you did it. You have to prove that you did it. That's, what, that's what's so dangerous about cancel culture. Somebody could just come out and say you did something. And you have to prove that you didn't do it. You have to prove that you didn't do it, man. Hold on, guy. Let me go ahead and... uh. Let me go get my liquor, gang. You know what I'm saying? Let me go get my joint, bro. Oh, I'm... Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, yeah, I'm tweaking. I was finna... <laughs> I was finna go... Look, I was finna go inside the goddamn... Uh, I was finna go inside of the damn gas station with my gun. I really shouldn't leave us in the car, but... I don't think nobody's stupid enough to... I don't think nobody's stupid enough to do that, bro. You feel me? I don't think nobody's stupid enough to do that. I ain't gonna hold you, gang. This shit done turned me to a weekend alcoholic, bro. They dead ass got wine at the at the grocery store, at the gas station, at Quick Trip. They got wine at to go wine. It ain't even like, look, it ain't even no. Expensive ass wine. It's to go wine in a pouch. I'm sweating hard as hell though. Let me get my let me get my thing and put my thing. You know me? Yeah, keep your thing on your lap. You gotta keep the thing on your lap, bro, because you don't know. I should have had it in my pocket. But Sandy Springs out here, bro. I mean, my shit legal anyway, so it ain't really, it ain't really a big deal. But I don't feel like going through the whole, sir, sir. I see you have a firearm on your side. Do you have the necessary paperwork to be walking around with it? Yes, I do, officer. And it's gonna take thirty minutes for them to go run my name, see that the gun is registered in my name, and I have a carry permit and all that goofy nonsense. You know what I'm saying? So. To save myself the trouble, I just left it in the car. You feel me? We just left it in the car. But yeah, like I was saying, man, you gotta. I hope that like everybody paying attention, especially like young dudes. I hope y'all paying attention to what's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, be careful who you put your wee wee in. You just gotta be careful, bro, because. The, the the statute of limitation for for uh for assault sexual assault it don't die down bro y'all see what happened to Bill Cosby right Bill Cosby serving time for stuff that that he supposedly did in like the seventies bro Just think about that Bill Cosby serving time for stuff he did in like the seventies and the eighties bro that's decades ago. They can't even really prove it. As far they, the the only evidence they have is like he say he say she say type of stuff. And this this man is in his eighties, doing time. Bill Cosby's gonna die in jail. I want y'all y'all think about that. Bill Cosby's going to die in jail, bro. So, yo, be careful. Be careful who you decide to put your thing in. I know a lot, when I be doing these type of videos, a lot of y'all don't, y'all don't watch it. But this is, these are the type of videos I need to really watch. Like, y'all need to watch these, bro. Even for, like, me right now, I dealt with a lot of, I dealt with a lot of females growing up, you know, because I thought it was cool. I had my own my own confidence issues and, and just 
dating females and, and, and you know what I'm saying, being able to, to, to be sexually active with these girls, it, it gave me a, a sense of confidence, like, but I, but I never, I never forced anybody to do anything they don't want to do, and I was real cautious with it, bro, like, one, one of my biggest rules, I never, I never got ahead without, like, a, a condom and stuff like that, I mean, Eventually, I kind of eased up on it, but at the beginning, that was a no-no for me because, you know, chlamydia and syphilis and all them things, they out there, bro. They was out there, so I wasn't I wasn't messing with it. So I had, I had rules. And like I said before, it was, you got, I had to check up on certain things, bro. Certain girls was lying, you feel me? Like, folks was lying about their age and stuff like that, bro. I was on there, bro. I was, I was like a bouncer at, at the club. I was I was card checking everybody. Like, chill out. You feel me? But, yo. Be careful. Be careful out here. And, and no means no. Be careful who you put your thing in. But also remember, no means no, bro. Because if she say no... And she kept on saying no, and she kept on saying no, and you started pushing her, and then she decided to say yes. Well, guess what, brother? That can that can be counted as sexual assault. That can be counted as assault, bro. Cause you you pressured her into doing it. You pressured her into doing it, bro. So that that can be counted as, as assault. So no means no. The first time she say no, that's it. That is it. Yo, hold on. I got, psh, hold on. This is my last one. This is my last one. Bro, I remember I was growing my hair out. This was like in high school, bro. I went to this chick crib, right? It was the first time I was growing my hair out. I went to this chick crib. So we was there for, we was there like, I was there like nine in the morning because I think her mother went to work at like seven. So I got there at like nine in the morning. You feel me? I went to the beauty supply store. I bought like all the necessary stuff. Like I had to get beeswax and all types of nonsense because I was trying to get my hair twisted. So I bought the joint, came in there. She start like doing my hair or whatever, but she like flirting. Like she blatantly flirting. You feel me? So I'm like, oh, I'm taking the hits. Yo, what's good? So we start making out and stuff like it was going down, bro. I got her in the, in the room, butt ass naked. She butt ass naked. So I pull my thing out, I put the rubber on, and she like, yo, what you doing? I'm like, yo, what you mean? What I'm doing? She like, what you doing? Why you got that? Why you putting the rubber on? I'm like, I'm about to get active. Like, what's up? She's like, no. I was like, you dead ass? She's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, it's all good. Put my Johnson back in my pants, bro. By the time, like, all this stuff happened, it was time for her mother to come home. So I get her, I leave. And I swear to God, bro, I put it, I put it on my, I don't want to put nothing on my son, but I swear, I swear, bro. She texted me. She was like, yo, you such a pussy. I was like, what you mean? She was like, yo, I was playing. You should have just put it in. I'm like, what you mean I should have just put it in? Do you hear how you sound? You feel me? Like, and now with everything that's going on, thank God I was a pussy. Thank God I ain't put it in. You feel me? Like, bro. <sighs> You just got to be careful out here in these streets, man. Like, protect yourself. I know some of y'all are older that watch my videos. If you got sons, man, you got to inform your sons. Inform your daughters, too. But definitely inform your sons, bro. Because consent is... It's a very thin line between consent and assault. It's a thin line between consent and assault, bro. And you got to explain that to your sons. Ah, right, man, that's the video. My next couple of videos going to be fun, bro. I, I just been, 
I just been rambling and talking and all that. But my next couple videos are gonna be fun. Feel me? Hold on. Before we before I go though. Before I go, let me go ahead and open up this uh this red wine. Yeah, y'all think I'm playing, bro. They got red wine. These folks dead ass got red wine at the gas station, bro. I sound like a whole Alki. Oh my god. Oh. I'm about to be lit tonight. I could already see it. I'm about to be lit. Alright, that's the video. Squat!